Many homes here in Miami-Dade County have well water systems for their irrigation. A lot of these homeowners have signed up for the water use efficiency program and they have installed a soil moisture sensor. The soil moisture sensor actually suspends irrigation when it's not necessary or when the soil is wet enough. Now not irrigating when it's raining is a great thing, but during the rainy season that may mean irrigation doesn't run for three to four months, which is great. We don't want to irrigate when it's raining, but it might be an issue for some pumps. Most irrigation pumps are self-priming, so it's not a worry, but we have seen some pumps when if they don't run for a significant amount of time will actually lose their prime. So we suggest adding a second program to your timer that'll just turn the irrigation on for a little bit and keep the prime in the pump. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to show a demonstration on how to program a program to preserve our prime um, on a well water system with an indexing valve. Uh, the first thing we do, we go to uh, zone setup, uh, which we already have a program made, which will prevent irrigation uh, from coming on when it's not necessary. Uh, this is great, but we need the uh, pump to turn on at least once a week. So uh, to, in order for us to do that, we, we would do a zone program uh, zone 2 which is uh, program B which is like a regular timer which we will program for five minutes uh, which is enough time uh, to turn on uh, our pump once at least once a week uh, to preserve our pump. The next thing that we're going to do we're going to go ahead and uh, pick the days and the times. Uh, we want to make sure that we program one of our days of the week um, and make sure that we program it after our uh, program A has been completed. This is to avoid uh, the sensor in the ground getting wet and interrupting our program A from starting. Okay, so now what we're going to demonstrate is how to preserve your pump prime on a well water electric valve system. Uh, the first demonstration we showed was an indexing valve system, um, but in this one we're going to demonstrate how to do that with electric valves. So if you have electric valves, um, you know that all your valves are controlled by the sensor. But we need our pump to come on at least once a week to preserve our pump prime. So with an indexing valve, we just created a program B. Uh, in this case, we have an electric valve which cannot be a program A and a program B at the same time. In this case, we created what we call a phantom zone. What a phantom zone is, is a zone that doesn't exist that we're going to use to power up um, one of our current zones. So the key to wiring your phantom zone is taking out your last zone wire, splitting it into so that you have one wire for your last zone and one wire for your phantom zone. First thing we do is we go to zone setup and we're going to use the zone after your last zone for five minutes. After we set up our five minute runtime for our phantom zone, the B program, we're going to go ahead and pick the days of the week and the start time. We want to schedule at least once a week and we also want to schedule after our regular program is ended. This is to avoid any interruptions on our current program. 